welcome back to our English grammar lessons. So, in my previous videos we talked about the present tenses, so present simple and present continuous, and then we talked about the past tenses, so past simple and present perfect. Then we compared present perfect simple and present perfect continuous. Today we're going to talk about the future tenses and we're going to compare the different forms, okay, to translate or to express future actions. So, first of all, when we talk about the future, normally we think of a form that uh, includes the verb will. So, will is or has uh, the same structure, the same uh, use as a modal verb, okay? So, after the verb will, we will have always the base form of the other verb, okay? So, the infinitive without the preposition to. As in this case, you will go. This is the future of the verb to go. Pay attention because will doesn't change for the third person singular, okay? So it is uh, I will go, you will go, he will go, she will go, it will go, and then you go on, okay? It doesn't change, okay? It's always the same, okay, for all persons. Sometimes you may find a contraction, okay, and you may find it like this, you in this case, and double L, okay? The double L is the final part of the verb will, okay? And it's perfectly fine when you're talking especially. Then, uh, what about the questions, so the, the interrogative, interrogative form and negative form? So for the question, we, we, we just um, put our verb will before the subject, as usual. So, will you go? Okay. And for the negative form, uh, the, verb to, uh, the verb will is after the subject again, and it is want. So, it's a contraction of will and not. Okay. Not is the word, the negative word, obviously. Uh, pay attention to the spelling here, which is W O N and then T, okay, because there is also contraction of not, okay, so the O isn't written here, okay. Uh, sometimes my students ask, how can I distinguish the verb, uh, th this verb here, so the negative form of will, uh, and the verb to want, I want something, so to express a desire, wish. Well, uh, pronunciations are a little different, but if you're not able to distinguish them, you can think about the structure, which is extremely dif dif different, sorry. In this case, we don't have to, okay? I won't go. With the other verb, want, in order to express a wish or a desire, okay, you say I want or don't want to go. Okay, in that case you have the preposition to. If you think about this, we will, we will never make mistakes. Okay, then when shall we use will? Oh, by the way, I said shall we use. What is that shall? Okay, shall is the same as will and we write it like this and we use it for the first person singular or the first person plural, okay? Also, when we want to do something, shall we go out, okay? We are uh, having a good idea and trying to let other people follow us, we can use shall, okay? But just for the first person singular and the first person plural. So, when shall we use, shall we use, sorry, will? in these three uh, cases, in these three situations. So, first of all, for sudden decisions. So, for decisions which aren't planned. Decision I'm making at the moment I'm talking. I'll make an example. So, if I meet someone, okay, maybe a friend, and he tells me, oh, this, uh, or tonight, okay, I, I am going to have a, a, a party, Okay, now I'm using I'm going to, then I'll explain why. I'm going to have a party at my home. Would you like to come? And I will answer, I say, oh yes, I will come. I will come. I will be there. I have decided now 
I, I, I didn't even know that there was a party before. He has just told me and so I decide I will come. So this decision has been made uh, right now, okay, at the moment I'm talking. So, sudden decisions. Most of the times uh, we uh, also use it also for actions that, ha uh, that, uh, that happen uh, just a few seconds uh, after the moment I'm talking. Uh, for example, uh, okay, another friend tells me, oh, it's very hot in here, the air is stuffy, okay, and I can say, oh, I'll, I will, I'll open the window, okay, and I'm just trying, I'm standing up in order to open the window. I won't use a present form, I won't say I open the window, I say I'll open the window, okay, even if I'm just about to do that. Okay, anyway, it's a sudden decision, okay, and it's something that is going to happen, okay, a few seconds later. Then, for hypotheses. Hypotheses, uh, we also use it in other languages, uh, like in Italian, for example, for the same purpose. For example, I see two people together, I say John together with Anne, and uh, I'm talking with my friend, and I say, oh, look at John there, look at the girl who's uh, with him, she will be his sister. Okay, it's an hypothesis, it's something I think, but I'm not sure about that, okay, so I use will. He will be his sister, probably, okay? And the third situation is very similar to the second one. It means uh, provision, prediction or forecasts, uh, also weather forecasts, for example. I open the window in the morning and I see uh, the sky outside and uh, I, I, can, I can say, oh, it will be, this will be uh, a very sunny day. Or I see clouds and I can say uh, it will rain today. I'm not sure, obviously, this is not something that has been planned before. This is something, it's a sort of a provision, it's, it's a forecast, okay? It will rain, maybe, probably, okay? Uh, I'm quite sure, but it's not planned, so I use obviously will. I always repeat the same sentence, it is not planned, it is not planned, why? Okay, I'm really focusing on this aspect. Because the other form here, be going to, is used for planned actions. Actions, or better, decisions, okay, decisions which have been made before, in the past, before the moment I'm talking, okay? Uh, pay attention to this form because uh, most of the time people remember it and say, oh yes, that's a form with going to, which is perfect. But to remember that there is the verb to be before going to, okay, this is the verb, okay, this is a conjugated vo verb, it's the most important verb of the sentence, so don't forget about him, okay? So, subject and then be going to and then the infinitive. Uh, example, you are going to come. If I say you are going to come, it means that you have already decided, okay? You decided maybe yesterday, okay, to come, so you are going to come. It's a planned action. What about questions and, and negative forms? Then for the interrogative form, we just, uh, we just um, move the, the auxiliary verb to be before the subject. Are you going to come? Is she going to come? Are we going to come? Okay, this doesn't really make so much sense. And uh, for a negative form, we just uh, put the, um, the, the, the word not, okay, um, together with the auxiliary verb uh, to be. So we have a contraction also in this case. You aren't going to come, okay? You have already decided that you're not going to come, okay? Uh, obviously, remember that you can't have a contraction with the first person singular of the verb to be. You can say, I am not going to come, I am not, I'm not going to come. You can have a contraction uh, with the subject and the verb eventually, okay, I'm not going to come, okay, or I am not going to come, okay. Uh, 
or for all the other forms you can absolutely have any contraction so you aren't uh, she or he or it isn't we aren't you aren't they aren't going to come obviously <laughs> okay so planned actions decision which have been made before before the moment i'm talking in the past the same exactly the same goes for the present continuous okay the present continuous is also used for uh, to express an action in the future an action that has already been decided and planned uh, the present continuous in this case you are coming okay um, is uh, exactly the same okay we, you, you, we talked about it a lot in my second lesson so if you have any doubts about how you uh, form the gerund for example you can go back and see my second lesson and you find all details okay so you are or you're if you prefer you're coming this is also a uh, um, uh, a decision this is also an action referred to a decision that has been made in the past but pay attention there is also a difference between uh, the form be going to and the form with the present continuous so in the first case it is more subjective this is something I decide for myself or something I believe in when the second form the present continuous it's uh, something more objective like for example um, okay if i if i say um i have my um, english test tomorrow so i'm going to study hard this afternoon it means that obviously i already know i've already known that i had my i would have my my my, my test tomorrow and i have already decided that i have to study but this is a decision that i make for myself because i believe that i, I have to study hard but if I say, um, I don't know, uh, maybe I'm talking with a, a schoolmate and I say, yes, tomorrow the teacher is explaining the future tense. Okay, this has already been planned, probably she has already said that uh, she is going to, to do that. But in this case, it's not a subjective decision. This is something that I say that someone else has decided. It's more objective. So this is the general ideal. This is the general difference between the two. Then obviously there are many different uses. There are many different situations when you can pick one or the other. Uh, the present continuous is quicker, it's faster. So it's often used also in order to, uh, to be more uh, colloquial or, or, or to be quicker when, when we talk so there are many different uh, uses and it depends also on the, the different uh, kinds of English we, we talk okay in the different parts of the world but this is the general rule okay the, uh, the formal rule there is also another form to express the future and it's here in this red square here so you can also use the present simple in order to express a future action as you can okay but in a very specific situation so uh, when you are talking about uh, timetables for example uh, I've made this example okay the train leaves okay at 9 a.m. this is not just it can be generical in this case but I can say tomorrow okay in this case it's future okay the train or the plane the plane whatever leaves at 9 uh, 9 a.m. tomorrow okay this is perfectly fine. Uh, the, the, the present simple is the best form you can use. Even if it is planned, obviously, because it's, it's been already decided that the train uh, leaves okay, at that time. Anyway, you can't use okay, the, the, the be going to form. It's uh, absolutely wrong. Present continuous is also not completely correct. We'll obviously not because it's, it's a planned action. So absolutely the present simple in this case okay, for timetables, hours and this kind of things. So this is all for today. If you have any questions, please just ask, uh, ask me and uh, write a comment below. Uh, if you want me to talk about something specific, just tell me and uh, I'm going to try and uh, make a video as soon as I can, okay, um, to, uh, to answer your, your questions or your doubts. And if you like my videos, 
please i'm just asking you please subscribe my channel or share them okay so the more we are the better we can work together thank you very much and see you very very soon goodbye